Nikiforo's focus was Byzantine Emperor from 963 to 969. His brilliant military exploits contributed to the resurgence of the Byzantine Empire during the 10th century. In the east, he completed the conquest of Cilicia and even retook the island of Cyprus, thus opening the path for subsequent Byzantine incursions reaching as far as the Jazeera and the Levant. Nikiforo's focus was born around 912 and belonged to a Cappadocian Greek family which had produced several generals. His mother, whose name is unknown, was a member of another powerful Anatolian Greek clan, the Malani. Nikiforos joined the army at an early age. In June 957 Nikiforos managed to capture and destroy Had. The Byzantines would continue to push their advantage against the Arabs. From the ascension of Emperor Romanos in 959, Nikiforos and his younger brother Leo Phokas were placed in charge of the eastern and western field armies respectively. In 960, 27,000 doorsmen and marines were assembled to man a fleet of 308 ships carrying 50,000 troops. At the recommendation of the influential minister Joseph Bringus, Nikiforos was entrusted to lead this expedition against the Muslim Emirate of Crete. He successfully led his fleet to the island and defeated a minor Arab force upon disembarkation near Almyros. He soon began a nine-month siege of the fortress town of Chandax. Following a failed assault in many raids into the countryside, he entered Chandax on the 6th of March 961 and soon wrested control of the entire island from the Muslims Arabs. Following the conquest of Crete, he soon returned to the east with a large and well-equipped army and almost immediately marched into Kilisha. In February 962, he captured the Natsabos. Nikiforos continued to ravage the Kilishan countryside, defeating the governor of Tarsus, Ibn al Ziyayat, in open battle. Upon the beginning of the new campaigning season, Arabs entered the Byzantine Empire and began to conduct raids. This strategy, however, would prove fatal for them, as Aleppo was left dangerously undefended. Nikiforos soon took the city of Manbits. In December, an army split between Nikiforos and John Tsimiskis marched towards Aleppo, quickly routing an opposing Muslim force. Another Muslim force caught up with the Byzantines, but it too was routed, and Nikiforos and Tsimiskis entered Aleppo on December 24. From 964 to 965, he led an army of 40,000 men which liberated Kilisha and conducted raids in Upper Mesopotamia and Syria, while another Byzantine force recovered Cyprus. Nikiforus and Zimiskis seized Mopsa Estia in July the 13, while Leo Focus invested Tarsus and Nikiforos and Zimiskis arrived soon after. Nikiforos won a pitched battle against the Tarsians, looting their forces with his ironclad horsemen, referencing the Byzantine cataphracts. Within a fortnight, Tarsus surrendered on August the 16th to Nikiforos, who allowed the inhabitants to leave the city unharmed but plundered the city. With the fall of these two strongholds, Kilisha was in the hands of the Byzantines. In 968, Nikiforos conducted a raid which reached the city of Tripoli, raiding and sacking most of the fortresses along his path. His aim was to cut off Antioch from its allies. Finally the city was taken by a surprise attack. After his reign, big part of Middle East was under Byzantine control. Mulsims had to defend themselves instead of attacking, 